uh, I decide to help the people uh, because I saw what's happened now in that moment here on the border of uh, Hungary and Austria. Uh, there was coming thousands of people over the border with, with summer clothes by that weather, with their uh, poor little child, what they have on their hand, and uh, there you have to help. If you are a human being, you have to help with yourself. Special Friday, last Friday, there was suddenly 8,000 people in a town where only 1,700 people are living. And it was a total mess. They come all together over the border. Uh, we was not able uh, to bring them with the trains and with the buses away from Nikolsdorf to Vienna. Because uh, by such a lot of people also in Vienna on the train stations, they didn't have any more place to put them, to handle them, to put them in the trains. They didn't have the trains anymore to go uh, to Germany. And so I was standing there with a box with uh, apples and mineral water in front of me uh, to offer it to the people who was coming out of a bus. And suddenly on Sunday there was coming two buses where the whole people was sitting inside and crying. Even the man was crying. And I was standing there having that box in my hand. And the first guy went to me, didn't say any word, and with tears which are running down his face, he was kissing my hand and the whole bus started to kiss my hand there. And I was in the middle of that crowd and I, I cried with him, we hugged each other and it was so, wow, you can't imagine if you wasn't there how, how happy they were that they arrived here in Austria. At the beginning it was very, very difficult to get the permission uh, that I get refugees. Uh, I was fighting now four and a half months to get some. And uh, you have a lot to do in Austria to get them. They are very high standards what we have. And I try to make uh, the whole flats what I have so nice that like I would love to live in that flats so that I, uh, that I say, okay, if you come in, please feel like home. For me, uh, the people which I get that are not refugees or a stranger that are my guests and for me that will be my children. Uh, if everybody said, uh, for example, uh, why should I help because I can't help every people, it's enough if everybody would help even one. Because if everybody would help only one people who is poor, who is on the street, uh, then that would be a very, very lucky world. And nobody has to uh, sleep on the street anymore. I would do the same. If I would be in the same situation, I also would work. Because if you see what's happened there, uh, they are living there, some of them four years in that camps, which, where they don't have any work, where they don't have enough to eat. Uh, I also would say, no matter what it costs, I will try to get out of that.